Hey guys, welcome to our channel. This is Sadikya. And again, Farad, thank you so much for joining us. Absolute pleasure, Sadik. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So, uh, guys, today we'll discuss about a film which is uh, which can be considered as a coming of age drama, a coming of age film, which uh, is a, a breath, a breath of fresh air. So we we are talking about Mudalni Mudi. So the film is the film comprises of relatively new stars or the new comers from Tamil cinema, and it is directed by Darbuka Siva. So the film was recently released on Z5 on 21st of January 2022. So before uh, we dive deep into this uh, or have a deep review of this film, I would uh, first ask Farad to give a spoiler-free review of uh, this film. So uh, thanks, Sadik. So Mudal ni Mudivam ni. Okay. Uh, so uh, I have written a detailed review of that, uh, and it's a very special review uh, on my side, Popcorn Reviews. so the link of the review would be in the description box below please do visit that yeah. as well so, and uh, uh, firstly uh, just wanted to uh, sorry for the interruption uh, we can also refer to this film as mnm because i've i've seen uh, on a few uh, you know uh, when i was moment. yeah yeah when i was just on checking our, around some of the reviews so it was referred to as mnm so just to you know, yeah yeah so we can refer to it uh, i mean you can refer to it as, as mnm okay so before anything i think I want to give a shout out to uh, Pride and Refuse Productions, Jammy Pants for Anmol, yeah. uh, for recommending this film. I think it was just the other day that he had recommended uh, in his video of top five non-Hindi films. Uh, yeah. So I think a big shout out to him. I think I regard yeah. him highly, as we yeah. all do, even Sadik. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, so thank you so much. If- at all you get a chance to watch our video uh, i don't know if that's going to happen but if you do so this is just a big shout out to you and thank you for the recommendation so mn mn is uh, a story of a group of uh, students in a catholic school and how they deal with their daily lives and what is more is it is set in the 1990s so i think sadik and me both are 90s kids so there is this automatic nostalgia to the we, we romanticize that era you know <laughs> if you can say you know our lives were much simpler you know there wasn't much complication related to relationships or finances or any other thing life was much simpler that time hai na sadik definitely so miss that era so and uh, you know there are this relatability factor also in the film you know the small small crushes that we would have in school or the hang out that we did with our friends back then or you know sometimes just rushing late you just got late for school and you just just about reached on time or you're late you know so all of that or even you know bunking lectures or you know all of that uh, or so all a part of our school and college lives so that uh, that uh, definitely uh, you know is touched upon very smartly in the first half of this film and the second half uh, you know it shifts uh, to uh, the more although i i didn't really enjoy the end i would say i mean the end uh, re- regarding that stupid that just didn't work for me for some reason but uh, the major chunk of the second half that was there that actually was how lives that we live at the moment you know and how we when we sometimes you know you would also have gone to many reunions with your school friends or college friends um, and i have also been there so you know that certain level of awkwardness uh, at the beginning and then you want to search for your friend who you knew from your school days and now you don't know how he is or she is or that unfulfilled romance that is there from school <laughs> and you're growing up so all of that you know is um, nicely packaged in this film and it's a, a wonderful trip down memory lane i would say and i think uh, in many ways this film would also be a personal 
to the director and the writer uh, of the film as well you know probably it must be his journey as well which he was taking us through yeah. so there were many films you know such films that are being made but uh, you know somehow each time i find it relatable so i really enjoyed such such film this is a very special film for me as well so i wanted to say that i don't know why but this film gives a, a bit of shade of rockford a film which came in 1999 which was directed by nagesh kukunur i don't know why but this film gives quite a few vibes of this because you know school days and you know that christian catholic the so rockford also had you know similar vibes i'm not saying the similar story like but i don't know why a few positive vibes yeah i agree i agree matlab ye these are uh, you know uh, similar concept films only but each time how they all work i think probably because the gaze that we look at the film from i always have been saying that way from my recent uh, podcast as well that the gaze that we look the film uh, uh, the film from i think that matters a lot and because i think we crave for that time you know uh, especially us you know the 90s kids i'm saying uh if we, we really crave for that time so uh, and that's why we find it relatable and because we find it relatable instant there's an instant connection so i think that's what works generally you know in such films even yeah. though the story lines are different but the school area or the college uh times that are explored or the engineering days for me uh yeah. those are special you know and uh, those times are never going to come back all we can do to relive is watch such films so that's why there's a connect absolutely so so now coming to some of the technical aspects of the film so i would first come to the music so how did you find the music of this film music was nice uh, it was pleasant in this film uh, i wouldn't call it too memorable but uh, it was nice it did its job where it was required you know that certain scenes which had that tuning of the guitar that that song was nice uh, overall pretty good yeah so i was just reading about the film so uh, it was really uh, surprising to know that darbuka siva who is also the director of this film is also given the music of this film so he's more like a vishal bharadwaj type of guy who has also directed the film who has written the film and i mean written the screenplay and, and you know storyline also given the music of the film so yeah so story yeah. only na Ah, this is his personal story i think yeah 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 that's why he is also... i think one of the characters in the film i yeah. i think it would be the one who's playing the guitar uh, exactly. he's i think his name is kishan das yeah 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 uh, yeah yeah so again and now coming to the cinematography of this film so how did you find the cinematography cinematography is okay uh, i don't think it was very nothing that was stand out as such in terms of technical uh, aspects in any of the department for that matter but because the story was i think very powerful and very uh, relatable i think the story shows over all the other aspects i would say so here uh, the technical aspects are i wouldn't say bad but they are they're good but nothing much to shout about shout out about them you know they are good it's fine uh, one thing that uh, i noticed and it's a good thing is that uh, again the uh the color grading that is i am talking a lot about color grading nowadays i am realizing but uh, the color grading does give you a feel of that era yeah you know it does give you a feel you know of the 90s typical 90s when there were no cell phones yeah. and you know um, typical school life uh, just going there to study and you know just uh, being friends with everyone without any distraction of your mobile or social media that i think that element was nicely touched upon i think that was pretty good okay so so now coming to the performances of the film so how did you find the performances of the characters lovely all of them i think they i think a bunch of newcomers you know whether it's varun or kishan i think kishan das was a youtuber if i'm not wrong i'm not 100% sure you can let us know in the comment section Yeah. uh but i think he was a youtuber and I, now he's transitioned into films if that is true then i think it's quite a journey you know and oh. neeta did a fantastic job as well um i think even the actor who played chinese uh, his name was chinese in the film he did a, i think hite his name was so he did a good job as well uh, all other actors you know uh, whether saraswati i think who played shannon small role but very nice role um, 
and uh, the actor who played Catherine uh, or the actor who played Anu, yeah. uh, they all did a pretty good job. Yeah. So uh, we are almost now at the uh, end of uh, our review. So before uh, concluding, I would ask Farhad, what, what would be the rating of this film from your end? So because this is somewhat a personal uh, story as well, uh, relatable as well, so and I had a very good time, you know, uh, walking down that memory memory lane. So I give it four out of five. I oh. really enjoyed it, and I want to uh, go that extra mile again to appreciate, uh, you know, uh, the new filmmakers and the new performance that are there. So that's why it's a little. I would have probably given it a three point five, but I'm giving it a four because of these reasons. Amazing, amazing, excellent, excellent. So thank you so much, Farad for being on our channel and thank you so much guys for your continuous support and continuous uh, uh, views on our channel thank you so much and uh, again farad uh, i would uh, like the viewers to please visit farad website and uh, visit farad website and apart from that please read the review popcorn of reviews. yeah popcorn reviews and please read the review of this film on farad website so the review of m and m uh, m and m uh, it's available on farad website i'll give the detailed uh, I, I will provide the link of uh, this film and the review uh, on the, uh, the description which is provided below so guys you can also provide your valuable feedback in the comment section and again i would uh, ask you all to please like share and subscribe to the channel and please uh, support us and thank you again for, for joining us so thank you so much pleasure sir thank you thank you pleasure